you get your arms around someone and you know you have them, like they can't get away, and then you just push them down. So like, I don't know, it's fun. It's kind of got a few eyeballs here and there, like, that's a girl. And then they realize, oh, that's a girl who can play. My name's Sophia Clayson and I'm 12 years old and I've played football for five years. My positions on offense are H-back and my positions on defense are corner. Every single year, someone will see me with soap, either walking on or walking off, and they're like, is that your daughter that's playing? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, I didn't know girls could play. She came home one day and at school had heard that there was flag football and wanted to play. She must have been in the first grade. And we said, sure. And it was like that. It was instantaneous. I mean, as soon as she played, she was like, that's all I want to do. I didn't think about it as them being an opposite gender. I just thought about people that I was going to tackle. The thought of hitting someone really hard is, is fun. I played locally here at Malala High School. Uh, I went down to College of the Siskiyous and played. And then I played for a semi-pro team that was in town here uh, in the 90s, the Oregon Thunderbolts. And let's go Bravo 42. Bravo 42. The first game actually of her fourth grade year. I don't know, two minutes left maybe. And we're down by uh, seven and she runs it in. And she scored that touchdown and uh, I almost got sick, ran over to the sideline. <laughs> Every team that I've gotten to, they've obviously like supported me and that's helped me continue, I guess. She, she's pretty good. She's tougher than most boys out here. I was surprised that we had a girl on our team, but she turned out to be pretty cool. Last year, uh, when she tackled one of their running backs, they're like, you just got tackled by a girl. Their coach said that, and then he kind of got all butt hurt. Yeah, she's good. Better than I thought for being a woman. And she does really well. She's uh, last couple years have been a starting cornerback for us. She follows the flow of the play well. Yeah, you line them up and have them push each other around. She's just competitive as everybody else. Most of the time, I see no difference between a boy and a girl out there playing. But then she'll come up on the sideline and want a hug. And I've never seen any of the boys come up to their dads that are coaching and want a hug. I never really thought about her getting hurt. I mean, when you see the kids play, it seems like it's kind of like slow motion almost. It's not terribly violent. But the hit that she got two years ago, yeah, that was terrifying. I got uh, an illegal hit. Basically, his helmet made helmet to helmet contact with mine, and my neck just went back. You know, the fire department got called, and they take a right ambulance up to Doran Becker's, and it was a concussion, but it was not, no damage to like her soft tissue, no damage to the vertebra. I was scared, but I, I, like, I wanted to go back and play. Each year she gets incrementally bigger and the guys get exponentially bigger, it feels like. And so that is, yeah, it's a, it's a concern. I wouldn't have her not play because of that. Every year I'm on the field, I usually tell myself I'm not going to play next year, so give it your all. But when dad's like, do you want to play football this year? And I say yes, so. <laughs> all my friends are guy friends. And then them going out and them saying I should play. And then I have a lot of people saying I'm really good, and I guess it makes me like feel encouraged to do it again, and then I just do it. 